You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Those signs, I'd like to try one. What signs? Your witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight, what I would rather is what matters. Bloody fine mount. Good stance, powerful rub, stable withers. Well, well. See so you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Loach doesn't like ghosts. Whenever old gear and I got to Mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Faster. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. You mean to go in wearing that? What else? seen how she's dressed. I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit, it feels tailor-made. Now for shoes, one must wear shoes to a wedding. We must be neat.
May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life, instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old heart attack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgerd and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Why you are so strange? Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Time to say hello. journey to be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- 
Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. <laughs> Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose.
Witcher. Hand over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin. What do we do now? Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win. Give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I see he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours and I shall wear the cap. Never fear, a man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everex a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everex. Rogue's long dead by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. I think you look charming. Quite the lark, this Gwent. Onward, to the next diversion. Send him to the white ass! <laughs> white wolf turned him to the white ass! <laughs> Don't make us big! We're toasting the newlyweds! Miney mo, catch up round about. If he sees you, let him go. Run away and don't be slow. Why do they call you the White Wolf? I'm a witcher! Take care, stay safe. Look! Drink with us! I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny, naturally. Your elf and happiness! Fortune, smile upon you, White Wolf! Water, an old pot. 
Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule, they give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think the slipping will be easy, don't it? He tilts a big tilt. Let's see how big he's strong. that pond sank in up to my armpits uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe and all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret oh, that's quite the theory one founded in practice for instance I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over to don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> in my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, faster till we expire. <laughs> Woo! 
And now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shun. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Mm, perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, and none to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening drew to a close. No other true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> You are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost is inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. I don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me! Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Emmerich. Because they are churls. <laughs> Don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. I wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. I promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! <sighs> I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. Look at me! 
Tiger girls falling over themselves to catch a painted pig. Smearing their wedding gob. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, me. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honoured. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, baby. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Peasants, learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favour. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through mud. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Hmm. Tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type? Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one. With the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. 
Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how? <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Lestri, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day, we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. <laughs> Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass scrounges. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. So fiercely, step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. Had enough peasant spawn? Thought yourself a match for a von ever. A witcher? Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Geralt, you must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <laughs> your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. 
I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows? What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers, but we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Ow! The man's got ass he is. He should first seek to help himself. Oh, such he is might be high fashion in his part. Oh, I doubt that. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gulper. What did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you. And hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally ho, adventure awaits. chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. Yet judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. I think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. 
Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. A spark spitter's cap if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come. Chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions then. Our magician is fat and a coward. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. Boar was fleeing a hound. Hound? Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Those are excellent ears. Might try a pair like that. Just not sure they'd fit under my cap. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Ah, oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Now what become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement.
This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery, how does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. Look at I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, have just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my lead, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Listen, I'll give you some more coin and you'll go back to the wedding. Are you daft? This extortionist's already got his due! Take it or leave it. Right. Convincing. Honorless prick. Olgird had it right. All artists are whores. Let's go. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Get bear! Bear? Watch that. As much as your cock's a tent pole, hide you blind fool. <laughs> often boar shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. I uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> First Witcher contract. Done. 
fire eater found, his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a witcher for damn certain. Place my hope in the eternal These flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. You're drunk and randy. Nothing good's ever come of that mix. <laughs> That gingerbread's now but flour, honey, eggs and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of bombardash is he feeding me? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time that touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunta Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. I seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply. I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all geared from your earliest days and always wished to be just like you. Wait. You can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because... I'm in Geralt's body, the Witchers, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest. Nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale invitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. 
Old Geert visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Old Geert was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. Leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cat. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost midnight. Time for the cafe. You're a bridesmaid, Shani. Take your place. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come. In this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely band with its hair and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be kind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Rides will hope eternal, ride will best be rare. Or she'll make you a purple in the coming year. What's the rumor thinking? It's all a bonnish flower. Must be said to you. Garland, garland, garland cow. You'll get the cow, the cow, the cow. Really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. Lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. 
Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me, misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. <laughs> you seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, uh, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. You! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>